How's it going, everybody? Oh, looking fucking jacked as usual. Today, I'm going to talk about how to get six packed abs. A lot of people out there, this is what they do they go on the internet, they go on Google, they go on YouTube, they type in how to get six packed abs. What pops up? Usually, some guy with fucking insane abs telling you all this bullshit. You scroll to the fucking end of the page, and what do you see? Pay $40 for his unlimited. 20 day trial routine and get six pack abs quickly. Load of bullshit. I'll show you guys. Actually, I'll tell you guys how to get six pack abs. Very easy. Watch the end of the video. There's, you don't have to pay me anything. You don't have to, no special routine. Nothing. It's all common sense. So stop searching on the internet. If you guys came here, you guys will learn how to get six pack abs very, very quickly. So, to start off, what do people usually do when they try to get abs? Most of the people who want abs are beginners. They're just starting out. All the advanced guys, the guys that have been training for four to five years, they know how to get abs and most of them do have abs. But the guys just starting off, usually it's the skinny guys, might be skinny fat. And why do they want abs? They want abs to get the girls. They want abs for respect. So this is what they do. They're skinny as shit. And they read from the advanced guys. The advanced guys tell them you need to be a low body fat percentage to get your abs which is true you do need a low body fat percentage but here's the thing the guys that are just starting off they are a low body fat percentage they're just skinny as fuck and have no muscle so this is what they do they start cutting immediately they might be 130 140 pounds they start cutting to 120 110 pounds they look awful and they're like why don't i have abs great question why don't you have abs abs are a muscle Abs are like your biceps, abs are like your triceps, they're like your chest, they're like your shoulders, they are a muscle. So what do you do if you want to get that muscle bigger? If you want to get your triceps bigger, are you going to cut 20 pounds when you first start working out? Fuck no. What you're going to do is you're going to start doing tricep dips, overhead cable extensions. If you want your chest bigger, you're going to start bench pressing, you want your shoulders better, you're going to start military pressing. All those exercises, they add weight each week. So that's what we're going to do for our abs. We are going to progressively overload on our abs. So what do I recommend doing for your abs? I recommend sitting on a decline bench. Decline. Remember, decline. Get a dumbbell. I don't care if it's a 5-pound dumbbell or a 10-pound dumbbell or a 15-pound dumbbell. What you're going to do is put your legs on the decline bench, and then all you're going to do is do a crunch holding the dumbbell. Hold the dumbbell right here on your chest. Don't hold it down by your abs because that's not doing shit. Hold it right here and do crunches. If you're not strong enough to hold a 15 pound dumbbell, then do a five pound dumbbell. If you can't do a five pound dumbbell, then just use your body weight. Once you hit 10 reps for three sets, you add five pounds. So if you start off, you're doing body weight crunches. If you can do three sets of 10 reps, add five pounds, hold the five pound dumbbell. If you're doing 10 pound dumbbells, you do three sets of 10 reps, do 15 pound dumbbells again hold it about right here if you hold it lower it'll be way way easier hold it about right here very easy to hold a 15 pound dumbbell again three sets of 10 reps what we are doing is we're progressively overloading your abs and they will get stronger another exercise i recommend all you guys at your gym you guys have the dip machine you, it, it can also be an ab machine as well. If you go the opposite way, it turns into hanging knee raises or captain crunches or whatever you guys want to call it. You guys can Google this if you don't know what it is. So again, all you're going to do is hanging knee raises weighted. You will put the dumbbell between your feet. If, again, three sets up 10 reps. If you can use a five pound dumbbell, do it. Once you get three sets of 10 reps, add five pounds. Use a 10 pound dumbbell. Keep doing this. Right now, I'm using a 50-pound dumbbell for three sets of 10 reps for my decline bench. And for my hanging knee raises, I'm doing 20 pounds for three sets of 10 reps. My abs are fucking insane right now. So that is the magical secret, you guys. And again, don't expect to do this in two weeks. Do this for about six months, and I guarantee your abs will be fucking insane. Here comes the next part. Once you have trained your abs for six months to around a year or whatever. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, wow, that's a long time. I want abs fast. Anyone who tells you that you can get crisp chiseled abs in seven minutes or in a month, they're fucking a liar. If you have never done, if you never had abs, then you won't get them in a month. 
it's it just won't happen at all you guys you have to train them and yes there will be the odd motherfucker the one guy in the world and all he will do is thousands and thousands of crunches and he will have insane abs he just has good genetics doesn't mean he's training correctly so again once you get your abs once you have done that those weighted ab crunches from the decline bench you're hanging knee raises once you have done that for about six months say even three to four months you guys have add i know i do too i want it fast you guys want the muscles fast you want the abs do it for three to four months uh, after that you guys can do a mini cut cut for a month see how your abs are looking i guarantee you they will look way better guaranteed uh, and yeah just keep doing that but the main principle the main principle you guys have to remember is weighted ab crunches never do crunches by themselves don't do 25 reps for crunches don't do these side bends or whatever you guys do or your planks or your mountain climbers those are useless do weighted ab crunches treat your abs like any other muscle they will grow massive trust me not grow massive a lot of you are thinking now oh i'm going to be bloated i'll have big abs no you'll have chiseled fucking insane abs end of video please subscribe to the video if you guys haven't already get the support up you guys and share this on facebook peace